Coincidence, a developer's get out of jail free card. When something needs to happen that can't be explained naturally and told through plausible scenarios, out comes coincidence. Because video games, and the devs do need to go home at some point in the day. Writing a story is difficult, yes, and having every character adhere to the same laws of reason and sense is incredibly hard. Sometimes games just throw caution to the wind and say, screw it, and we're calling them out for it. From characters magically appearing to progress the story to others forgetting their motivations just for the sake of gameplay mechanics, my name is Rach from What Culture Gaming, and here are eight dumb coincidences in video games you just ignored. Eight. Hero doesn't kill? Villain uses unmanned drones. Batman Arkham Knight. Batman Arkham Knight was under pressure to be bigger and better than ever, but in these attempts to increase scope, it had to forgo certain things, like logic. Everyone is aware of the lengths the game went to in order to have an empty city so that Batman didn't accidentally kill a random pedestrian. Despite not making any sense, it's incredibly coincidental that the Arkham Knight, a character that is both aware of and forgoes the no-killing rule of Batman's, would go in favour of unmanned drones when taking him on. Why not just have them be manned and then that would really pop the bat in a bit of a pickle? But instead, the Arkham Knight ends up looking like a bit of a bumbling idiot in this regard. The game offers up no reasoning behind the Knight's decision to do it either. In the desire to go bigger, Rocksteady lost the sense of weight behind the story. In evacuating the city and having fleets of AI enemies, they dissolved any means of tension that the events would otherwise have. 7. Heroes randomly find exactly who they were looking for. The Last of Us. The last I checked, the United States of America was pretty big, like pretty heckin' massive. So when traversing the vast landscape of the country in search of your brother, you would think it would take some time. Oh, would you look at that? He's actually in the first place you check. Now, The Last of Us is a marvelous story with deep and engaging characters that have genuine heart. That being said, suddenly stumbling upon Tommy at the hydroelectric plant is a bit of a reach especially seeing as it was only a rumour that led them to Wyoming in the first place. Joel is planning to search through Jackson County to find his brother, but stumbles onto him immediately? It's a needle in a haystack! While it allows for a deep emotional turning point in Joel and Ellie's relationship, the setup falls apart instantly upon a second viewing. 6. The Courier Surviving Fallout New Vegas it is astronomical the number of coincidental occurrences that happened for the events of Fallout New Vegas to even begin. Benny was enough of a terrible shot to not damage any of your vital organs, but was still skilled enough to be convinced you were dead. Victor here was nearby enough to dig you up just in time before you died of blood loss. And finally, there just happened to be a capable brain surgeon nearby in this post-apocalyptic wasteland to save you. Put it like that, it sounds damn near impossible and should have been, but it still happened. Obviously, the game just runs with it, despite the chances of these events happening naturally or even contextually can't be explained away by coincidence. I can buy that someone happens to be nearby enough to dig you up, but for there also to be a brain surgeon kicking about is a bit of a stretch. 5. The Handy Dandy Escape Route The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion you could say that anything regarding the Emperor somewhat negates the coincidental nature of the encounter by chalking up to destiny and fate, but these are largely the same as coincidence. And what a coincidence it is! Of all the rooms in the entire palace that are both nearer to him and more suited for a quick getaway, his escape route is through the prison. And through your cell, of course, because of course. The more you think about it, the more and more ludicrous it sounds. The prison, on the outskirts of the city, meaning that the emperor would have to traipse through the entire city whilst in danger. The route leads through the sewers, of which there are several viable entrances to them, along the path from the palace to the prison. Also, having an entire cell off limits completely ruins the secrecy of the escape route, considering that all the prison personnel would need briefed in on why not to use said cell. Lastly, it just so happens that the prison guards messed up and put your player character in the one cell that could set him on his journey, despite there being other available cells? How convenient. 4. 
an ally's sudden appearance. Dishonoured too. Picture the scene. The palace is under attack by a foreign enemy. The city overrun with traitors and a magical claimant to the throne has cast you out into the world. The world has turned against you and you will need to use all your skills and abilities to escape the city and get to relative safety. Nope, there's actually just a boat over there waiting for you with a key ally who arrived at the exact same time everything went to hell. It's bizarre how Megan Foster arrives just in time to save you and the unlikeliness of the situation has you expecting some sort of betrayal. But no, it was actually all just a coincidence and one that could have been so easily fixed. Just have the main character hide away for a day or two in Dunwall before receiving word of a ship captain who is looking for them. Simple. But hey, as long as we get to stab a line of nameless necks, Bethesda can go about making whatever narrative choices they like as far as we're concerned. Just as long as they don't do something really stupid like give Corvo the opportunity to betray his daughter, you know, the only person he ever loved or cared about, and the person he killed hundreds of people for… Hmm… 3. Someone, somewhere, has marked everywhere you can climb. Tomb Raider, Horizon Zero Dawn, Far Cry, Doom, and more. This coincidence is apparent across a multitude of games and franchises, yet there is no other example more poignant than that of 2013's Tomb Raider reboot. In order to clearly mark progression and make it clear that the path the player is following is the correct one, the devs saw fit to paint every single climbable ledge with striking white paint. It seems to imply that one of the murderous psychopaths on the island took the time to precognitively slap paint on every ledge across the entire island. More of a handholdy game design choice than anything else, other games have managed to make climbable ledges work with much more subtle means. Mirror's Edge, for example, built its entire visual style around it, but Tomb Raider and many others have their critical paths built on unbelievably stupid coincidences. 2. Best buddies with every historical figure under the sun. Assassin's Creed Being a historically inspired series, you'd almost expect Assassin's Creed to be akin to your high school history textbook. You know, chock full of old bearded blokes from across the ages. Yet, for the most part, the series has been pretty rubbish at working them in seamlessly. How about when you just bump into Benjamin Franklin on the street and instantly become best buds with him? Or when you did the exact same thing to Charles Dickens? And who could forget when you run into Charles Darwin, who just happens to be blowing up the same factory as you? Don't even get me started on Connor just randomly popping up at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Ah, oh, instead of feeling like a natural unfolding of events, it feels forced like the world is catering to our main characters. Yes, I know, Ubisoft have proven that they can do it right, with characters like Blackbeard and Leonardo da Vinci tying perfectly into the story. They felt much more like living, breathing characters from history rather than just being relegated to clumsy cameos for the sake of it. One. Oh, Elena, Elena, Elena. Uncharted. Let's start out by saying that Elena and Drake's relationship and their interactions form one of the most charming and brilliant parts of the whole series. The way they fall in and out of love is very human, which does make Elena's sudden appearances, regardless of where you are, mostly forgivable. It makes them somewhat acceptable in context, but does nothing to stop them from disintegrating upon deeper analysis. How does she find Nate in the first game and arrive at the exact opportune moment to save him without any indication of how well her tracking abilities are? And how does she just happen to be in the same war-torn city in Nepal in Uncharted 2? Or perhaps the worst coincidence in the entire series, how the bots does her job in Yemen just happen to give Drake access to the exact part of the world he needs to get to? Then there's Uncharted 4, where her out of nowhere appearance after Drake has fallen off a cliff was so coincidental that it has spun a number of fan theories, explaining that everything that happens afterwards takes place in the afterlife. So unbelievable is the idea of her and Sully's appearance, given how Nate has gone solo, that some have resorted to assuming that he simply perished instead. Ugh, so dumb am i right thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video you can of course like share and subscribe if you like my name has been rach you can follow me on twitter at don't rage quit have an awesome day guys we will see you again tomorrow